All right, guys, God bless you, and welcome to This Is It, 4321 Before the Fire. Okay, I'm working on basically three things right now. I want to deliver what I told you I have from the last video, but guys, I got to organize it in a way that even someone that's new to this channel will be able to understand what's getting delivered is definitive. The time is here. It, we are in the arrival stage. I'm going to show you the way the Lord communicated it to me, but you've got to understand. If you don't understand what the Statue of Liberty was all about, you don't understand what the Hindecagram was all about, the Kelepot, uh, then you may not understand the significance of what I'm going to show you. For the people that have been coming here for a while and you guys have seen the absolute mind-boggling information concerning the Statue of Liberty and the Kelepot, uh, the Statue of Liberty representing the Kelepot, which is a shell, meaning our host body. When you see how it all ties into all the other information that the Lord has given me, you're going to know, not think, you're going to know the ends here because all the information bears witness to everything else that's been shown to you. And you're just going to go, this is absolutely impossible. Okay, so I'm still working on that. I had a guest that came in from out of town from Alaska. He was going, he was coming from Alaska, heading across uh, to Florida. And he stopped in for two days. And I've had him here and I've been showing him all this stuff. And I've been organizing it, getting it ready for you. But remember I told you. Everything is printed on the U.S. currency notes. The tidal wave is printed on the U.S. currency notes. The New York being destroyed by nukes is printed on the $100 bill note. So let me show you what this just, I, I don't know, you know, Joe Biden to me, he's a, he's a pathetic lunatic. And I feel sorry for him in a lot of ways. But you know what? He made his bed. But let me show you what that, that, He's a complete sellout. He sold everybody in this country down the river, him and his son. Everybody knows Hunter Biden took money uh, for personal gain to sell out the people of this nation. We all know that. It's a no-brainer. And that's his legacy. But what owns him and what works through him could care less. You think they care that they sold you out? No, they don't care. Let me show you what this lunatic said on March 11th, 22. Listen very carefully to what he said. Hang on one sec. Send in the idea that we're going to send in offensive equipment and have planes and tanks and trains uh, going in with American pilots and American crews. Just understand, and uh, don't kid yourself, no matter what you all say, that's called World War Three. And today, today I'm announcing that the United States will be sending 31 Abrams tanks and planes. We're putting in the idea that we're going to send in offensive equipment and have planes and tanks and trains uh, going in with American pilots and American crews. Just understand, and uh, don't kid yourself, no matter what you all say, that's called World War Three. And today, today I'm announcing that the United States will be sending 31 Abram tanks to Ukraine, the equivalent of one Ukrainian battalion. The idea that we're going to... Okay, so did you hear what he just said? Okay, so I'm going to let him talk for just a moment, and then I'm going to repeat because the volume's kind of low, but you have to understand what this pathetic lunatic just said. Send in offense. Okay, here we go. The idea that we're going to send in offensive equipment and have planes and tanks and trains going in with American pilots and American crews, just understand, don't kid yourself, no matter what y'all say, Okay, that's called World War III. Don't kid yourself. The idea that we're going to send any planes or tanks or trains to the Ukraine. Don't kid yourself. 
That's called World War III. He didn't say he wasn't going to sin. He said, don't kid yourself. That is called World War III. What did we just do? We just sent 31 Abram tanks, and we said, uh, I quit counting the billions. I saw a couple... Uh, a couple news sources that were saying, you know, 37 billion has gone to the Ukraine already. The idea that we're going to send tanks, did we send tanks? Yes. Planes, oh yeah, that's part of Vlad's next package. Uh, planes, uh, looks like, yeah, they're going. So tanks, planes, trains, haven't heard about trains. Don't kid yourself. Make no mistake about it. That is called World War Three. He just said those exact words. And then he says, we just sent 31 Abrams tanks. Make no mistake about it. Sending tanks or planes, trains, that is called World War Three. Make no mistake about it. And here he is saying, we just sent 31 Abrams tanks. So, according to Joe Biden, make no make mistake about it, we have entered World War III. Now, let me tell you something. You know all the balloon going over the United States? I saw a really good one by Major Taylor Green. It was a balloon with like a satellite thing on it. It said, uh, Eric, uh, happy Valentine's Day, fang fang. So, people like Eric Swalwell, they've sold you out. Those people shift. They lied to everybody. They're sellouts. So these people are, they're liars. They'll lie about anything and everything. They lied about everything. The Bible says people that are liars are children of Satan. You think Satan's using Swalwell? You think he's using uh, Adam Schiff? That guy's a compulsive, insane liar. He lies about everything. Everybody knows it. So who's running that person? Who's running them? Well, Satan's running them. What are they doing? Well, helping adversaries plot the destruction of the United States. It sure looks like it, doesn't it? At a certain point, you have to go, it's a no-brainer. Obviously, they're in bed with China. Do you think Hunter Biden's in bed with the Ukraine? Do you think the Bidens knew what was coming? It's been proven in the documents and that, that uh, Hunter Biden, there's emails saying that uh, there is going to be a destabilization. Do you think the Bidens are profit, profiting off that destabilization that they knew about through the oil and gas industry? It's a no-brainer. Of course they did. Any idiot knows that. I used to work with people that were pretty bad people. You know, I, I was involved in stuff that most people shouldn't be involved in uh, at a younger time of my life. And, man, if you screwed around with those people, they knew what you were doing if you did something wrong. It's a no-brainer what these people have done. Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, they sold everybody out. Everybody knows it. But then look at the ones that are all protecting them. Look at how the media protects them. The Justice Department protects them. There's no justice in the land. They go and they raid Trump's mar largo estate where he's got... And I'm not a fan of Trump. I'm not a Donald Trump fan. He's part of the same Hegelian dialectic. But, you know, look at the two different things. They go raid Donald Trump, who has it all under lock and key with Secret Service everywhere. And then Joe Biden's crap's laying all over the place, and he lied about it. It's been everywhere. How many different places are these documents, you know, these classified documents? It's, it's a no-brainer. They were selling influence. They were selling secrets. They were committing what would be called treason. And now the, the masses are catching on. People are waking up. By virtue of the fact that they're telling you about a balloon that's going over the United States, why are they telling you about a balloon? Do you think you need to know about a balloon? Or are they telling you about a balloon because of what they're probably going to do because they've already front-loaded you that there's a balloon that's a Chinese balloon going over the other. Oh, it looks like they're getting ready for an EMP attack. Isn't what that isn't that what Klaus Schwab said? Oh, people pay insignificant attention to the reality of a cyber attack and all the lights going out, which would make COVID look like nothing in comparison. 
Let me show you, would y'all like to see a new ad that just came out? Because see, the TV commercials are agendas. They're not selling a product anymore. The TV commercials are an agenda from another race of beans, just like the Maserati commercial that I've shown you, Ian Bud Light, Heineken commercials, all these commercials I show you. Would y'all like to see a new commercial where they telegraph the lights going out and another race of beans just taking over the shell, the host body, would you like to see that? Okay, tomorrow I'm going to have the video that I was just going freaking out about because I know it's over. I know the end has come. I'm going to show you how I know. That's going to be in the video tomorrow. I want you guys to see the methodology in which the Lord showed me so you can see it yourself. And I'll use what the Lord showed me to show you. But I, I don't want to just wing it because... It, the information's really, really important. It's like we need to go to class to do this one. You know, like you'd go to a math class or something. You've got to see it in order and you've got to see it with the correct definitions. If you don't have the definitions and you don't have the understanding of what a uh, hindecogram is, you don't know what the kelepot is, you don't want, you don't know about Jewish Kabbalistic cosmology, you don't know any of that, then when I show you what the Lord showed me, you're going you're to be confused. But if I show you with what I know, you're going to be, you're going to be 100% convinced the end has come. Let me show you a commercial that shows you the lights are about to go out, that the other race of beings has taken over, and that they're here, and that that shell is about to be occupied by another spirit. All right. Have you guys ever tried to make your eyes turn completely white? Like, you got to look really hard one direction or look up to make your whole eye turn white. You know that, right? Okay, let me show you something real quick. Watch this. idea that we're going to send in offensive equipment and have planes and tanks and trains uh, going in with American pilots and American crews, just understand, and uh, don't kid yourself, no matter what you all say, that's called World War III. And today, today I'm announcing that the United States will be sending 31 Abram tanks to Ukraine. Okay, Joe. Well, according to Joe Biden, that means World War III is here. And make no mistake and don't fool yourself out of his own mouth. Okay, so there you go. Now, watch this commercial. Watch this. Okay, now check this out. I want you to look over here. There's there's your X. Okay, see the X? Okay, uh, see the bird on here? What Blue swift, by the way. The color for this other race of beans, they just like the big blue bug during COVID. They had a big blue bug wearing a mask, and they named that bug Nibbles Wood Away. You know why? It represents that race of beans nibbling that other race of beans, us away as we're the wood. The Bible says in Genesis 1, let us create man in our image. The word create means to cut down wood as a formative process so nibbles wood away the big blue bug just go type it into youtube nibbles wood away big blue bug on the front lines nibbles wood away is just a joke to make fun of that of us as that other race of beans is just nibbling the wood away destroying us now watch here you go ready see blue blue swift watch watch just Think of the birds as in a spiritual sense as well. Now watch. Here we go. Let's see. I want to get the volume all the way up. Here we go. I've never seen myself as just one thing. And I made sure no one else could either. By staying true to myself, making my own path, rising above expectations, opening the door for others to be their true selves. The first spirit made with VSOP cognac, finished in bourbon casks, Martel Blue Swift, soar beyond the expected. Okay, now, the lights go out. At the very end of that, the lights go out. Spectrum. And if I, and if I catch it exactly right, you'll see her eyes just go white. And this is all done by design. But what she's saying in the commercial, let's hear what she's saying. I'm going to break it down as she says it. I've never seen myself as just one thing. I've never seen myself as just one thing. thing. And I made sure no one else could either. And I made sure no one else could either. We're talking about that other race of beings, that female energy from the pit. 
Remember, it's twin female, right? I wonder if there's going to be a twin female in here that shows that they've cannibalized all the male energy. How many times have I told you guys that? Okay, watch. Here we go. Watch. And I made sure that nobody else could either be just one thing, right? Isn't that what she says? I may, I've never seen myself as just one thing, and I made sure that nobody else could either. That's that evil, evil entity. Watch. I've never seen myself as just one thing, and I made sure no one else could either. And I made sure no one else could either see you as just one thing or see themselves as just one thing. There you go. See themselves. Now watch. By staying true to myself. By staying true to myself. What's herself? Is that female energy that's down. There she is down. Wonder what the odds are that all of a sudden the elevator is like that and she's upside down. I wonder what the odds are. Making my own path. Making my own path. Rising above expectations. Rising above expectations. You see the bird like the the twin bird following her, the spiritual essence. Watch. And opening the door for us. And opening the door for what? Oh my god. So are these like twins right here? Are these are twins? Oh my gosh. Do they have identical hairdos like one facing one way one facing the other way i mean i told you this is this is not arguable here it is again just watch just watch here we go here he is again others to be their true selves and i allow others to be their true selves you know like the guy the transgender guy that they let open up for the the uh european ice skating championships did you see that nonsense Instead of giving someone the ability that's been out on the ice training for years to go uh, be out on the ice somewhere where they deserve to be, instead they gave it to a trans guy to go out on the ice and he fell down and just made a fool of himself. And they're trying to virtue signal. And it was the most humiliating, embarrassing thing ever. Just go look it up. European, Nas uh, Interna European National Ska uh, Skating Championships. It was humiliating, and it's wrong. So she's opening the door for everybody else to be them two selves. I'm sorry, this is not a girl. The first spirit made with VSLP come. The first spirit. Now, isn't it interesting? In the Bible, we know the word dove refers to spirit. I know that this is Blue Swift. It's a. It's a. It's a drink. And that, but they have two of the Swifts here on the glasses, like twins. Now watch. Finished in bourbon casks. Martel Blue Swift. Soar beyond the expected. Soar beyond the expected. What's this right here? Are those two twins? Are this, is this a twin thing right behind her? It's a yes or no. It's yes. Yeah, soar beyond the expected. It's always the same. Ian Bud Light. Oh, everybody here's a twin. Debbie Harry and Marina Abramovic cutting hearts out of their own twin cakes. It's always the same thing. The Women's March in Austin. How long did it take you to make your costume since the beginning of time? What are you? Are you vaginas were source material? It's where you come from. It's always the same thing. Twin female, I told you. Now, if you don't understand what the hindecogram is for when I deliver this next thing, and you don't understand what the kelepot is, you will have a difficult time just completely getting it. But if you do, and you've seen my presentations on the Statue of Liberty, which have proven out to be absolutely correct, you'll know that they're telling you the end has come by what they're doing in front of you. You can tell every tree by its fruit, you guys. And they're just telegraphing it. It's so annoying to me. I just want to shake the whole world and say, guys, wake up. Look at this. Okay, they're commercials. They're not commercials. They're agendas for another race of beings. That's what it is. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Love you in Christ. I'm going to put this up real quick. And I'm going to continue on getting my folders ready. If anybody wants to see the folders that are currently being worked on and you want to go 
you want to just go see what's going on in the go to the video folder right here and go down to the bottom here look at the citra okra kelepot folder go familiarize yourself with this uh this the Akimbo power stance is something that's going to absolutely blow your mind. And what's going on right now in society and what they're telegraphing right in front of your face is beyond, it's beyond the human brain. Do you guys remember when I showed you Barack Obama? Okay. His presidential portrait was a, t this is a T-Rex. Now I love you in Christ. And if you're like, oh no, that's your interpretation. No, it's not. That was the Lord God grabbing a hold of me as a servant and drawing in every leaf on the Barack Obama presidential portrait. It's a T-Rex. There's the eye. There's the horn over the eyebrow coming down the face. Here are the teeth are. I didn't color the teeth in yet. I just, this is a, a rudimentary drawing. I want you to see it as it evolves. I want you to see something. I'm going to put this one here where I said, okay. There it is. There's a T-Rex. That's a T-Rex. And I just put a little white inside the leaves that are the teeth. So here's a T-Rex right here. That is the Barack Obama presidential portrait right here. There it is. The T-Rex is right in here. The whole thing is the head of a serpent. The fang of the serpent is a sperm that's right here on the corner of his head, and it takes a turn and goes down. So that fang of the serpent that is right here, there's the serpent's nose, there's the serpent's eyes going down the side of the face, coming back. Here's the other eye of the serpent. Here's the top of the head of the serpent coming this way. I can see it. It's a serpent with its mouth open. Okay, there's a T-Rex on the side of Obama's head right here. There's a dead sheep right here. Okay, you cannot make this stuff up. Did you see the other portrait that came out, uh, Barack Obama? I know that this just sounds crazy, but it is what it is. Does that look, is that a T-Rex? It sure is. What are the odds that there's two portraits of Barack and Michelle Obama? And when you look at this and you simply rotate it, it's a T-Rex again. Why would Barack Obama keep being a T-Rex? What is going on with that? Well, the beast, which, you know, went into perdition, seems to be alive again, doesn't it? It's pretty fascinating to me. It's absolutely mind-blowing that you could weave this in to the presidential portrait through all the leaves, but I can see it clearly. It's easy to see. I did a whole video where I just colored it all in for you. I put in the fang. The other fang is over here in the shadow. I can see it right now. There's a line of the fang. There's the other fang. This is a, this is a, another fang, but it also makes a sperm going down his chin. This is a big freaking fang, and the fang of the serpent is a sperm. Think about that. The serpent's bite is a sperm. <laughs> Did you know there's a, a drink called Serpent's Bite and it's a sperm? There's a drink. Go look it up. Mickey Finn. Yeah. Okay. Their time has come. It's Satan's rule on earth. He gets his rule. But also our time has come too. Those that have believed, those that have been walking this out. I'm going to show you in the next couple videos how the Lord showed me our time has come. Okay. So it's here. It's arriving. We're in the process. They're front-loading the crap out of you. Oh, all these tanks are going over to the Ukraine. You know why? The bombings are already printed on the U.S. currency. So there doesn't have to be one tank that shows up to the Ukraine. They've already told everybody in the U.S., look, all these tanks are going to the Ukraine. So when they pull the trigger right here, here's, here's all they got to do. They just got to set off a nuke that's already been planted. See, there's a $10 bill with the tidal wave coming over it. That's a $10 bill. It's orange. Hey, let me ask you a question. Why did they color the $10 bill orange? I mean, why'd you make it orange? Well, let me see. If we're going to make a radioactive tidal wave, you know, like 10 years in the future, let's see. So, yeah, we'll make the background orange because a radioactive tidal wave probably should be orange. Hmm, that would be a good reason. Oh, wow, look, the bill's orange. See it? 
Oh, there's the tidal wave. Why did y'all take the two lines off the back of the $10 bill that you replaced? Well, because if you had two lines going around this right here, it wouldn't look like a tidal wave. It would ruin it. But by taking off those two lines, it gives it that look of a wave where it's got like indistinct edges on the top. See, like there, just like that. There you go. So that's a tidal wave. I love you in Christ. If you don't believe me, that's okay. I'm, you're just falling into the prophecy of Isaiah. And then here is the $100 bill. There is layer of ink one, layer of ink two, and layer of ink three. That's a devouring wind, totally taking out New York. Okay, so it's already done. It's already done. It's going to happen. Now they're front loading you, getting you ready for it. Oh, we've sent all these tanks. Everybody's tanks, tanks, tanks. Biden, make no mistake about it. We are not. He didn't say we are not. He said tanks and planes and trains. Make no mistake about it. That would be World War Three. Well, what did he just do the other day? We just sent him tanks and we're going to send him planes. Well, make no mistake about it. That's World War Three. So it's time for everybody to accept the reality that World War Three is here. The end of the world's here. I've been telling you guys for 20 years, I think. I've been ringing this bell. And that's what I was called to do. And now it's here. Okay. All right. Now, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just sick of watching them. I'm sick of their lies. I'm sick of their little, oh, look over here. Oh, look over here. Swalwell and Schiff, those are some evil people, man. They are evil people. And so the time has come. Satan is going to have his rule on earth. He will have it. That's what the Bible says. But there's a rescue mission coming. And you can overcome the fear of death by knowing the truth. Christ in virtue. You see the world as it truly is. You know what it is. You know you were carried away captive. And you're no longer, death is no longer burdensome. You're like, whatever. That's the only way to go back home. That's the ticket home, is through the door that's death. So, in order to go home, once you're a Christian, when you're like, well, I have to die to get there, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. So, it's like, okay, let's get this deal done. You understand? So, anyway, so I'm just trying to give you the mental mindset. Anyway, I've been very heavily burned. Like I said, I've had a friend in town for two days. And I'm, I've been organizing this data while he's here, but I can't do a really good delivery while he was here. I just couldn't get it done. There's no way. It'd be way too late at night. Um, so anyway, I've got the information. I put it together. Tomorrow, I'm going to give you a little bit of an education, and then I'm going to drop. Um, here's what the Lord showed me. All right. Let's do a hug, you guys. Oh, sorry. All right. This is you. What's on the bear? <laughs> yep what's coming is on the bear uh tidal wave and so it is and so it is i love you in christ guys we're gonna be okay don't be afraid do not be afraid guys it's coming put all your trust in god you, no one is going to want to be in the world that's coming now this is their oh their new utopia with klaus schwab yeah it's going to be wunderbar yeah it's not going to be so wunderbar it's not going to be good for them. They think they're rolling, ushering in this new era of, you know, wonderful, wonderful. But no, it's where everything just goes into the total pit. All right, guys. I love you in Christ. I'm going to get this next stuff out just ASAP. All right. Love you guys. Bye.